This is the Feutech AK2000S, and yes, that's a big crack on the front. It's a lightweight gimbal which is perfect for small mirrorless cameras, and I've been using it for three months now. I guess it's about time I came through on my promise to Feutech and reviewed it. Hey, what's up? I'm Chris, and you might be wondering to yourself, why did it take three months to review this? Well honestly, it's been a combination of a bigger than normal workload in my day job and more time sensitive reviews that needed to be pushed ahead. And to be honest, you can't review a product like this in a few days. It needs a good amount of time spent with it and you need to use it on real projects to get a proper feel for it. From the first day I set it up, I've been using this gimbal on every video shoot at work with my Sony a7 III and 16-35 GM lens. In that time, I've come across very few issues. So how do you explain that massive crack on the front, Chris? Well, honestly, it was down to sheer clumsiness. It fell out of the boot of my car, and as the motor was locked, it landed and ripped apart the plastic surrounding it. So I guess the first positive you could say about this is, the locks are pretty strong. Fortunately, I made sure to record this quick clip of the unboxing experience when it first arrived. For clarification, Feutech sent me the advanced kit which packs everything the standard kit does, the gimbal, a boatload of cables to connect to the different types of cameras, the handle, hex keys, tripod, but with the addition of an electronic follow focus. It's really light, only 1.1 kilogram in fact, and when you have it all built up, it actually feels incredibly well balanced. Every axis has its own individual lock, and it just about manages to squeeze on my a7 III with a 16 to 35 millimeter lens and a filter. I'm not quite sure how they got this gimbal to work so well, especially with the camera I use. In the past, I've owned the Xi'an Crane 2, a Moser Air 2, and the more recent Xi'an Crane 2S. It's lighter than all three, and it's somehow smoother. In fact, the Crane 2 and the Moser both failed after 12 months of use. And the Crane 2S is far too heavy and not very balanced in comparison to this. If you've used a heavy gimbal, you know how sweaty you can get on a hot summer's day. It's not nice. You can get some really smooth shots with this gimbal. If you've practiced your ninja walk and you dial in your settings, you'll get smooth shots every time. Even when I've been in a rush, the shots are usable. And even if there is a slight bit of wobble, I can always stabilize it in post later on. Having previously used three gimbals with clunky and horrible menu systems, this touchscreen really makes all the difference. Gone are the days where I need to use a mobile phone app to fine tune my gimbal. Everything is available right here. The dial on the side is multi-functioning. It can be used to control the follow focus, or if you push it in, it can adjust the pan or tilt axis. Having a top handle is a nice included extra, but I really wish they included quick release bolts like they do on the AK4500. It's such a faff having to get out the hex key and unscrew three bolts every time I want to take it off. And one other issue with the handle is, it doesn't fit in the supply case if you leave it attached. So you always have to remove it or carry the gimbal around without the added protection. And look what happens. The overall look of the gimbal is good. The faux wooden handle is a great touch and it's even customizable as you can remove it with these two screws. 
It is, however, quite a cheap feeling item, and as you saw earlier, it did crack after one fall. It's powered by a built-in battery which can easily handle a full day of shooting for me. If I ever did forget to charge it overnight, I simply plug a USB-C cable into my Zenjo Super Tank and connect it to the gimbal and away I go. If you're in a hurry, you can even run the gimbal off a battery bank. Just be careful you don't get any cables tangled up in these motors. This tripod is the best I've used on a gimbal. It's got a good grip to it, it's stiff, and it makes an excellent second point of contact when you're using it. Other than regular shooting modes, it packs the inception, selfie, and portrait styles. And my favorite, the route planning mode. This is great if you want to shoot any motion time lapses, or in my case, as I usually film everything by myself, a great motorized selfie shot. I found this great for getting unique looking b-roll shots and adding motion to static shots with myself when needed. One negative of portrait mode is that it's only available in underslung mode, so I'd recommend just buying an L bracket and mounting it in the gimbal vertically. The selfie mode is really annoying, sometimes I accidentally triple tap the trigger and it'll spin round in my face. And the inception mode is fun, but I wish I could slow it down even more. It still feels a bit too quick for my liking, and I shoot everything in 24 frames, so slowing that footage down is a no-go. To mount your camera, you need to use the Arca Swiss plates, which makes sense, as it's a very small gimbal, but I personally use the Manfrotto 577 style plates with everything, so this resulted in me having to buy adapters for all my gear. And with my camera setup, I wasn't able to balance my camera with a follow focus, which was a shame, as it does a great job and is a fantastic optional extra. With all that said, despite cracking the shell and making this pan lock absolutely useless, I think it's a fantastic little gimbal. Even though I'm limited with what I can use it with, and I'm pushing it to its max, it still performs better than the more expensive and larger gimbals I've used. If you use bigger lenses with a mirrorless or digital SLR, you might want to go for the bigger AK4500, but at $399 with a follow focus or $350 without, it's a well priced package. So thanks for watching. If you made it this far, thanks Veotech for sending this out for review. Please consider like, commenting, and subscribing, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.